The next question. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Tash and I'm an entrepreneur from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I have two questions. The first is, is it permissible for non-mehram men and women to work together with no segregation in an office? My second question is, is it permissible for a Muslim male YouTuber to have a lengthy discussion podcast with a non-mehram woman on a YouTube live stream? As far as men and women working in an organization or in an office or in a workplace where there is no segregation of the opposite gender, this should not be done. This should be totally avoided. Because it would break the rules of Sharia. It would break the rules of Islam. And we find many a times that when there is no proper segregation of the opposite gender, there is unnecessary communication, there is unnecessary giggling, and there is unnecessary interaction between the opposite genders. So, in an office or in a workplace, we should see to it that there is proper segregation of the opposite gender. When a male or a female is working in an organization or in an office or in a workplace, there should be segregation of the opposite gender. There should be separate, either separate departments for the women and men or there should be separate rooms for the women and for the men. A separate department for the men and a separate department for the women. A separate room for the men and a separate room for the women. This is very important so that the criteria of hijab, it is not broken. In certain rare situations, if there is no separate department for men and women and men and women they are working in the same place there should be no intermingling of the opposite gender there should be no unnecessary giggling there should be no unnecessary laughing which is very difficult in most of the situations but if the rules of hijab are maintained and if there is no intermingling then inshallah it should be fine but again i would like to stress and say that the best is to have separate Promises for men and separate promises for women or to have separate department for men and to have separate department for women in a workplace or in an office and many a times we find that in most of the offices there is no proper segregation of the opposite gender and we find there is unnecessary giggling unnecessary interaction unnecessary laughing intermingling, intermingling with of the opposite gender many a times a man and a woman they have a meeting in a closed room and they are the only people who are present this is totally against the teachings of islam these this man and woman they are not mahram to each other abul prophet muhammad peace be upon him said that if a man and a woman are alone the third person is a devil so if a man and a woman who are not mahram to each other who are non mahram if they are present in a room alone the third person is a devil but we find this that it is common many a times a boss invites his employee who is a woman in an office that is under closed doors or in an office that is closed wherein only a man and a woman are present or in a room wherein only a man and a woman wherein only the boss and his employee who is a female is present. This should be totally avoided and this goes against the teachings of Islam. And especially when a woman is working. She should see to it that she maintains her hijab and her modesty and she does not break any rules of the Islamic Sharia. Generally, it is the man who is the bread earner of the family. It is not required for a woman to work. But if she wishes, she may work. But she should maintain her hijab and her modesty. She should not break any rules of the Islamic Sharia. The same applies to the man as well. He should not break any rules of the Islamic Sharia. Coming to your second question. That can a male have a podcast or an interview for example a YouTube live stream with a woman as far as having an interview with a woman only with a woman as far as having an interview with a woman is concerned this should be avoided and many a times we find that this is common because if you are having an interview with a woman for example for an hour for one and a half hour it would be very difficult for you to lower your gaze and even if the interview is online, for example, it's a podcast online or if it is a YouTube online stream and the person who's interviewing is a woman, this should also be avoided as well. And we find, unfortunately, many of the people who talk regarding Islam 
and they explain Islam and many a times they have a woman who interviews them unfortunately and you know and many of the people they do this on purpose trying to say that Islam is a diverse religion Islam is a modern religion what is the need for a person for a man to have an interview with a woman there are so many men who are available you can easily have an interview with a man so that's the reason this should be totally avoided it would break the rules of Islam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah An-Nur chapter 24 verse 30 say to the believing man that he should lower his gaze and guard his modesty whenever any man looks at any woman if any brazing thought if any unashamed thought comes to his mind he should lower his gaze the same applies for the woman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An-Nur chapter 24, verse 31, Say to the believing woman that she should lower her gaze and guard her modesty. So lowering the gaze is very important. So we should see to that whatever we are doing, it is within the purviews of the Islamic Sharia. Having, interview, having an interview with a woman, whether it be a live interview or whether it be an on-site interview or whether it be an online interview all of this should be avoided and there is no need for having an interview with a woman it, there is no need for a man to have an interview with a woman you can easily have a man take your interview and many a times it would lead to a person breaking the rules of the Islamic Sharia that's the reason we should take precautions always and we should not do anything that would lead us to doing something that is haram, something that is prohibited in Islam.